Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be covering the Elementor Pro Login Widget. So before we dive in, I just wanted to say that if you don't already have Elementor Pro, I highly recommend picking it up for yourself. And if you want to get it and support my channel, you can get it at WPWithTom.com slash Elementor. So with that out of the way, let's dive into this Elementor login tutorial. Okay, so here I'm going to actually just make a basic example of how to use this widget. And I'm going to show you how to make a login page where you actually have a person log in through it and go to a page that isn't displayed in this menu up here. So you can see it currently has courses in our menu. If I refresh it, you'll see that courses is still there. What I'm going to go do is go back to where it says pages within the dashboard. And then I'm going to add a new one right here. And this one I'm going to call login. So let's just add the title login and I'll click publish and publish. And then I'll go back over here into the dashboard and you can see that we have login in here. Now, if we went over to appearance menus, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take courses out of there. So I didn't delete the courses page. I'm just going to take it out of the menu. I'm going to click remove and then I'm going to add in login to this menu and then I'm going to save it. So login is now the last item in the menu. If we refresh, you can see courses is no longer there, but login is. So what we're going to do is go to where it says pages and we'll go to login, we'll click edit on that. And then we'll go to edit with Elementor at the top for this login page. All right. So now that this has loaded, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go down here to where it says settings, click on that and the page layout, I'm going to make it canvas. So that's going to get rid of this footer area that we had here and just leave us with this blank canvas. And then I'm just going to go and click update down here. So to get started with the login, we actually can go right over here in the pro section and just drag it and drop it right in there. And by default, we have this login set up. So the main thing that I want to go over here is actually showing you how to redirect it to that page, but let's just go through this real quickly. So right here we have form fields with the labels. We can choose if we want to display them or not. You can see that it's right here above the actual field. So it's this one that says username or email address and this one that says password right here. You can choose the input size and that's going to be how big these areas are. I'm just going to leave it as medium in this case. And then if we go down to the button, we can change the button size and change where it's located within the actual field itself for the form field. And you can change the text on it. I'm going to leave this as is as well. And then I'm going to go down to where it says additional options. And right here is the one that I want to focus on. So it says redirect after login. So I'm just going to go and toggle that on right here. And what I'm going to do is go over to my site. And I know that my pages that says courses is wpfundamentals.com slash courses. So I'm just going to put that in here as the link that I wanted to redirect to after we log in through this form. So then I'm going to go down here and just click update. So the style of it isn't going to look good right now, but let's just go through the process of actually seeing what it looks like. So if we go down here and click preview changes, it says you're logged in as WP fundamental. So I have to log out right here to be able to see the page. And then it's going to be WP fundamentals.com slash login. If we went to our website, you can see that it's actually WP fundamentals.com. And then if we go over to the login page, this is what we're going to see. We can get into styling this in a moment, but I just wanted to show you that's what you see. If you wanted to go and retrieve your password and you click lost your password, I really don't like this feature because I think that they could have done a better job of this. But if you click it, it takes you to the WordPress page right here where you're going to need to enter your username or email address to receive it and get a new password. So I'm not really too crazy about that, but it does work and it functions well enough. If we go back here, we can just log right back in. So let's just go WP fundamentals as my username and I'll put my password as well and I'll just log in. So now when we log in, you see it takes us right over the courses page instead of the login page. So it redirects us over to where it says Stevens courses in this case. So if we wanted to go back over to the login page, we can go and click edit with Elementor and we can actually just style this a little bit. If you want to, you can just skip over this because now you know the gist of how to do the redirect, but I'm going to just go through some quick styling here. So if we go up here, edit section for the entire section, let's just say we want to add a background to it. So I'm going to go right here, style and background type. 
let's just go and make it gray in this example and then I'll go within the actual form itself right click edit login and here I'll go into some styling as well so if you want to change the row gap you can do that I'm just going to leave it at 10 and then link color you can change that as well so let's just say you wanted to make it white here so people could read where it says lost your password or maybe you wanted to make it a link color that's going to stand out a little bit more on something like this maybe like yellow so it stands out compared to the other text if we went to where it says label right here I'm going to change the text color to be white so that's why you'd want the link color to be a little bit different if you want to go down to button you can change that as well so button color let's go and also make this maybe a blue or something like that that's going to stand out a little bit more and that is just some basic little edits that you can do another thing that you might want to do is you might want to go to where it says advanced go to padding let's just put 100 for everything so then it's more centered on the page and I think it will look a little bit better so let's just go and click update right here and I'm going to go to preview but again I'm going to have to log out and if we go to wpfundamentals.com slash login you can see that this is what the login page would look like and again once you log in it would redirect you over to the courses page so I hope you found this video helpful on how to make a basic Elementor Pro login page here if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Elementor Pro related tutorials Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.